Hi, this is Sharan. Welcome to my channel. The topic that we are going to cover today is uh, missing values and how we can handle missing values in the in the data. So before going into the tutorial video, I just want to provide an, a brief introduction about uh, like what is a missing value, why it is really important on a data science project. So as you see here, so this is a simple data where we have weight as well as we have various weights and uh, so maybe this is uh, uh, this is a data of someone who is trying to reduce their weight and we have data point for each and every single beat and we can see that the data is missing for week number six so now so this is this is a problem of missing data so this issue can happen in any cases let's say we are going to track the amount of rainfall that could be days when the sensor was not working or, or the data was not collected so maybe we want to we want to track the uh, the amount of energy that has been utilized by each and every single household so most of the smart meters are capable of capturing all these data and then sending across these data but in some cases there could be some failure uh, in the communication so the data could be missing so where in those cases we won't have the data so missing data is something uh, is a problem that happens in most of the data science project there, the quality of the data that we are going to work on might not be perfect. There will definitely be lots of missing data. So here in today's session, we are going to see what is this and how we can handle those missing data. So as you see here in this case, where the weight of our individual is being tracked by week by week. So on the day when the data was not captured, if we can do it, like we can handle this in multiple scenarios. What we can do is we can just ignore, ignore this particular row and uh, we can just uh, don't consider it and we can consider that we have only nine weeks of data so that is one way in some cases we uh, like in some cases like uh, it, uh, it, it would make sense to replace uh, the missing value with with the value zero uh, in this case definitely it's not going to make sense it's going to pull down like uh, it's definitely not an answer it's definitely not close to the actual value uh, so maybe here in this case uh, that's that's not something that we have to do so in some cases what we do is we take the uh, we take we take the average of those values. Like for example, if it is missing for week six, what we do is we take the average of week five as well as week seven and populate in week six just for uh, just to ensure that the quality is not bad. Let's say we have a lot of missing data. So in like if we if we pass on the uh, data with all the missing values to an algorithm, so the algorithm might not be doing so well. So it's always uh, makes sense to either remove them or to replace them with a value that would be ideally close enough to the actual value if it had been tracked. Uh, in some cases, what we can do is we can just, just uh, look for the previous value and then just take the same same value or we can look for the next day's, uh, next week's value and then pick up the same value. So there are multiple ways in which we can handle uh, and missing value and then replace it with a more suitable value. So in today's session, we are going to see what's the missing uh, data, how to identify all those missing data, and what are all the various methods that can be used for us to, uh, for us to maybe, uh, for us to uh, uh, replace those missing values. Tom, let's go into the tutorial. Before going into today's tutorial, the fun the fun fact for today is, uh, uh, in Uranus, uh, it has only two seasons, summer and winter, and each season lasts for twenty one years. Just imagine how it will be and then uh, lifetime of, of a human being they would be able to see a season only twice <laughs> okay um, now going into the tutorial for missing values so we just saw what is the importance of a missing value like why uh, handling the missing value is really important in an use case so now we are going to use uh, pandas library and we are also going to use numpy just uh, uh, maybe uh, import numpy library we will go into those in detail in the later session. We are going to see how we identify those missing values and how we can handle those missing values using pandas. So let's uh, import both pandas as well as numpy. And uh, what I am doing is I'm just using the same data set here. Uh, I'm just going to clear all the output before I start executing. Okay, now importing the data. So now as you see here, it's the same data set, but what I have done is I have randomly deleted some of those values uh, in this data set. So maybe if I if I show you uh, the actual data set, uh, so you can see there are some values missing. So there are some values missing here and uh, there'll be a couple of values that is missing in this data set. I have just randomly deleted all those values. And now uh, when we read it, we can see all those missing values will come out as not a number. 
so be because they are missing and uh, we are going to see how to capture or how to identify these missing values and what how we can handle those missing values so in order to just uh, i have created a subset from this data frame instead of printing the entire uh, entire data frame each and every single time so it, it's much better to use a smaller subset so uh, just for the explaining uh, uh, just to uh, make it easier while explaining so what i have done is i have picked up the top 20 rows here and then i have stored it into a new data set a uh, new data frame called as t underscore data and uh, now i am uh, i'm just uh, picking up uh, the top 20 rows we can see there are some missing values here and there is no missing values for data science there are some missing values for machine learning okay so now we are going to see how to identify the missing values so by passing on the data frame here in this case we are going to use t underscore data by saying is null what would happen is it would return true if the values are null so if you see here it's been it, it's been executed across the whole data frame and it will return true only in the cases where the data is null otherwise it's false so the opposite of this is uh, not null so when we use not null what happens is everything will like everything that has a value will be true whereas the cases where there is no value will be false so now we uh, we know how to identify the rows which has values and which doesn't have values so now let's say we we use the problem data science and then we print all the rows which is null so by executing this what we see is we have we have only all false value because as we saw here there is no there is no missing values instead of data science let's say i'm going to use uh, machine learning so by executing this there would be some true yeah so if you see here there are some true values here because uh, uh, the data source has this particular problem and this particular problem has some missing values so now uh, we can see how to identify the missing missing values so now let's say let's say we are uh, for time being let's say let's uh, go one step ahead and then let's say we want to identify the sum of an particular problem so let's say let's pick up data science uh, let's pick up let machine learning so now what happens here is when we pick up machine learning and then we do a summation of that particular problem what happens is the value which is missing here is being considered as zero so that's what is happening like uh, the whole the whole element like all the values here are being added up and the values that is being absent which is not a number are being ignored or are being considered as zero and hence you can see here that uh, we have a we have a value and uh, the missing value is being treated as zero so without understanding like how many missing values are here let's say we want to do an average and then we divide this by the length of the data frame like uh, length of the number of rows that is available so then we would be we would be uh, getting we would be looking for a round average value because it has some missing values which had been ignored so we need to be really careful like uh, if there is missing values without understanding like uh, how many values are missing if we are going to directly use uh, uh, methods such as sum we will be we will be coming up with an value uh, which we might in misinterpret uh, without having a complete understanding about the the values so like number of values that are missing so now uh, let's say we want to fetch all the records where there is a missing value in a column so what i'm doing is i'm just doing uh, using the data frame calling pandas uh, library and using is null whether like, anything is null on this data frame and on this particular column so by executing this uh, what happens is whenever whenever this value is true so whenever this value is true the particular record would be fetched so here when e learning is missing so this row will return as true so in this particular data frame the row where this is returned as true will be will be fetched or will be filtered out so let's say we want to fetch all rows with a missing value uh, so when i do access is equal to one so i'm using dot any which means that uh, if any columns that is present in this particular data frame that has an missing value that has is null is equal to true so then we pick all those values so if you see here 
this subset that we have uh, filtered out has only three records that is missing like one here one here and there is one missing that is here so we can see all those missing values are captured uh, in this one so this is how we can filter out or we can identify all the records that has some missing value in it uh, so that what we can do is we can know that uh, how many what is the extent of the missing values and we can come up with some methodology to handle those missing values so now let's see how to handle these missing values some of the methods are so maybe so here what we are doing is we are replacing the missing values with zero so we are saying fill na which means that fill whenever there is not no values with zero or we can pass any specific value so by executing this what happens is as you see here the cases where the values were missing are being replaced with zero so here as well as here and then we can also see a like a zero value here uh, so the second uh, like method for handling the missing value is so this would be more appropriate replacing that with a mean value so now what we are doing is we are identifying all the missing values in the problem e learning and we are filling all those missing values when we say fill na mean that all those missing values will be picked up in this particular column and those will be replaced with the mean of that particular column so if you see here we used fill na fill all the missing values by zero so here what we are saying is we are saying fill na by the mean of that particular column so now by executing this so you can see an uh, uh, value here so this value is a new value which has been calculated based on the mean of the whole column so still maybe this is also not more accurate so let's say let's say we have uh, uh, we have uh, so let's say this is the data about the daily temperature so we have we have uh, the daily temperature let's say for one year and if there is a data uh, if there is a date when the daily temperature was not captured is missing so if we take the average of the whole year and then replace it it might not be accurate because the temperature patterns changes in changes by season for example like here in melbourne like uh, the temperature in winter might go up to 0 degrees and summer it might go up to 45 degrees so the range is quite huge so we can't directly uh, take the mean of uh, an entire problem and then replace it so in some cases maybe uh, based on what we learned in the past we can use we should use group by uh, and then identify the season or identify a particular week take that average and then replace it so uh, so these are some of the ways um, so depending upon the situation or scenario that you are going to work on maybe you need to pick up the most appropriate method so the next one is something called as a padding so what we would do is uh, whenever there is a missing value so what we do is we identify the value uh, that was present before it and then pick up the same value so here in this case let's say the value was missing for uh, the index 10 so if i go to index 10 here which is 29th of november we can see the value same as the previous value so this is like most likely like a, an uh, accurate way of doing it so because on a daily basis most likely like depending upon the data chain like if it is trend store it's not going to change much on a daily basis or a weekly basis <coughs> maybe if it is going to be rainfall or something else maybe that would be a huge deviation so maybe in those in those cases it might not be the best method but in most other scenarios pad is uh, likely going to yield you and uh, or going to get you and most accurate value and uh, similar to pad there is something called as an backfill so where what we do is we we see what uh, like what's the value after the missing value and we pick up the value from there so here if you see we pick we this value was missing so we see what's the value next to it it was 33 we pick up the same value and then backfill it so that's the backfill method so these are all the different ways of uh, of uh, handling the missing values so apart from this uh, if you want uh, if you want uh, the values that you use to replace should accurately reflect the actual data maybe you can use group by or uh, in some cases more specific methods to ensure that uh, whatever value that you are going to use will be close enough uh, will be accurate uh, to the actual values uh, in other cases what we can do is uh, we can just simply drop all those values all, all those rows all those records which has a missing value so we can say uh, data frame dot drop na this will this will drop all the missing data so if you see here uh, 
uh, we are missing 10 which had a missing value and then the record uh, index number 12 is also missing which also had a missing value and uh, there should be one more missing as well uh, yeah so all those records all those rows which had a missing value would have been dropped and then we can see that uh, there is no missing values in this data frame now so this is also most uh, uh, like uh, most likely used in data science projects whenever there is like uh, so many random values are being missing instead of spending too much time in analyzing what is missing and then spending time in replacing that with an uh, with a most likely accurate value uh, if it is if it is let's say like maybe in two to three percentage of cases the data is missing it's better to just drop them off and then uh, and then go with the data that is available uh, so that would be a lot more quicker and helps and it reduces time to focus on the actual problem and uh, the last one is let's say we want to delete a particular column so similar to what uh, uh, how we used to delete in list set uh, dictionary or an uh, or an tuple so we use uh, like sorry not, not in tuple like in other cases we use delete and then we specify the data frame and name of the column. So that will delete the column partic that particular column from the data frame. So when I execute this, so what happens is the deep learning, which was coming up in the last row, is no longer available. So that's been dropped off. So that's it about the missing data and how to handle those missing data. So I hope you have understood uh, or gained something from today's session. So I have uh, some, uh, some uh, uh, exercises for you to try. So they are like, let's say that you maybe try replacing the missing values in all the columns by mean, uh, and then maybe use pad as well as backfill method. So based on like uh, maybe previous day's data, you know what, what was the actual data, and you see which of these methods are yielding you the most accurate value. Uh, after replacing, maybe check with the actual value and then see which one seems to be more accurate. Uh, and uh, maybe remove all the rows with the missing value and check how it impacts the overall mean of that particular column. Uh, so these are all some of the exercises that, that maybe you need to try by yourself, uh, which will help you uh, in gaining more knowledge on these topics. Uh, I hope you understood something today. So if you like, uh, uh, if you have learned something new, so please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get notified of all, uh, about the other new videos that I'm going to upload. And uh, if you feel this might help someone uh, else, let like maybe please share it with them, specifically if they are trying to learn data science or looking for a transition into a career in data science, maybe share it with them. Um, bye for now. See you on the next session. Bye.